for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Hello, this is Quantonium, and I'm back with more Let's Play material. We are going to be playing a very nice game called Grim Fandango, as you might see in the title. Uh, this is an adventure game. Um, it's uh, created by, um, as you can see, it's one. I, th I believe it might be the first 3D game created by uh, Lucas Arts. Don't quote me on that, though. It's just something I heard sometime. Um, it's a Tim Schafer game. Uh, you should know who that is. Um, he uh, created games such as uh, Psychonauts and Stacking and Costume Quest or something. Um, and I must say I have never finished this game, though I have played it. I have actually started a couple of times, but I've never actually finished it, so I'm gonna use this uh, opportunity to actually finish the game. So this will be real exciting. I've got uh, my uh, new Xbox 360 controller here. I'm playing on the PC of course, but uh, I've uh, connected my controller to the computer and as you can see, it works. Though the controls in this game are a little bit off and a little bit weird, so uh, please bear me with me while I try to figure out the controls throughout the beginning of this game, I guess. So as you can see, this is Manny. He has a collection of items which he will build up over time. At the moment he only has his scythe. Which we can pull out and check. Yes indeed. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Alright. So we're gonna put that away. Now let's try to actually find out what this new message was. Oh, let's see. So use, I believe, is just... 
Looks like I got a message. All right, so that is checking out what happened. Looks like I got a message. All right. There we go. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Damn, that guy's in Whatever the you say, Hiffy. All right, so get to our cars again, I guess. Uh, well, in that case, we need to find our car. Though, I want to check my computer. Can I do that? My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Alright. Nothing interesting there. Let's move on. I'm gonna have to find the... Garage, I guess. I really like Manny's look. Oh man, this game brings back so many many memories. I actually played this when I was a child. Uh, at least I played the demo. Uh, but um, as I said, the demo doesn't really make you finish a game. So, oh, never mind that. Memos are for reading and throwing away, and not much else. Domino's the door? door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. So Domino must be one of his uh, fellow colleagues. All right, let's take a look what uh, what this woman has to say. Ah, uh, controls are weird. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? Yeah, the Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Hurley. All right, interesting. Piece of information, I guess. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. What did we do last year? Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Well, I guess we'll go. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Will do. Eva. Well, let's see. So, presumably... Presumably, this door is just into um, Don something's office. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Fair enough. Th that voice, I kind of feel like I've heard it somewhere before. And by the way, there's a message. Oh. Hmm. Can't pick it up. Hold on. Oh god, I crashed. No, I didn't. What the hell is going on? Why can I... No! Okay, I gotta try to fix out this problem. Be right back. Alright, there we go. Got the problem fixed. Whatever the heck that was. So let's take the elevator. Might as well. Okay, right, right, right. We're heading down. Ah. 
Dang it, I hope that wasn't the last car. Alright, so can we run, I wonder? Uh, no. Nope, put that back. My scythe. I like to yeah, keep yeah, it yeah. next to where we my know. heart used to be. I don't want him to take it out, I want him to put it away. I think I found it though. There we go. That's running. Alright, so loads of cars hanging upside down here. I guess this is some kind of workshop. See no cars we can use though. Uh, let's uh, let's check in this side this place. No, oh, god dang it! It's some sort of special work order. No. Hey, okay. Service! Hey, who the? Holy! Oh, I remember. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect. Sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. <laughs> Man, I remember that guy. Oh, that is a creepy thing. What the hell is that? Why isn't he dead? Shouldn't he, shouldn't he just be a skeleton? Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! <laughs> No, 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 no. I don't ride them, just wrench them. I'm Calavera, Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? What? Yeah, wasn't that nice? How the hell would he do that? It's kind of idiot move. Gladys, Gladys, is that a German name? Oh no, my roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire. To drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Alright, so he is a driver actually. I kinda need that. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I. Uh. I. Uh. I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You wanna be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh no, sorry, can't, rules. Come on, F the rules. Come on, Gladys, I need you to be my driver. No, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm too big. <laughs> yeah, you cars are just too small. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. What's up with his head? I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Yeah, absolutely agree. So, um, with our work order in hand, well, our... You know, I've got to get this thing. book order signed. We shall go and uh, try to find our boss. Hopefully, Eva can give us some directions. Well, I think actually the boss is... Hold on, how do I... Oh, here we go. Uh, I think actually the boss is in his office. But... 